Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for joining me to shave. We're gonna go over some periphery and then we'll get into the actual soap because it's pretty interesting. All right, so for the actual brush, we're gonna use the Tiki brush, 3D printed brush from, uh, well, 3D printed handle at least from Tim. Tim shaves. Uh, we're gonna use the Dorco. Uh, it's all plastic. Um, you know, if you put an aggressive razor in here, you can get very good shaves. Um, I have a kind of a medium aggression razor. It's the, uh, the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Strangelet Platinum. So, we'll see how it goes. Uh, and then, for the actual soap itself, all right. So if I just showed you the tub, what would you think this was? Now, obviously, I know you've already looked at the title of the video, but yeah, it's TFS. I'm gonna botch the name if I try it, so here we go. Chun Fang Sing, okay. Um, so yeah, this is from uh, Torino. It's made in Torino. And the cream looks kind of reminiscent of uh, another soap as well, right? So the same kind of tub, same kind of scent, like a cherry marzipan type scent. Very, very nice scent though. This is actually a bit stronger than Cella, and I love that. So um, as you can see, this is my very, very first time using this. I have not used it yet. I bought it several months ago. But uh, anyway, okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna dip the tips of the brush and we're gonna, we're gonna test this out. Uh, as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that uh, my, uh, my Chella tub has lost its scent. I, I just left it out far too long, like a couple weeks without putting the lid on, forgot about it, left it in the sun. And the soap still performs great. It's just there's no scent. So I'm glad to have gotten this. Um, let's see. What's the ounce of this? 125 milliliter. I think that's roughly the same as Chella. Maybe a little under. Chella may be a bit more than 125, uh, 125 mil. But anyway, they're, they're very similar as far as the, the sizings. Chella, I want to say, is like five bucks. I'm sorry. Chella, I want to say, is like 10 bucks. This is $5.99. Okay, so we're, we're going to put it through its paces here in the shave. And, uh, you know, I may have a new... <sighs> Chella's a classic. I can't write that one off. But anyway, so I may have a new, uh, you know, cheap line of soaps to go down. I think there's more than just the, uh, the scent from TFS. All right, cool. So I'm going to wet the face. Uh, we have, um, what do we have? Two, two and a half days of growth. So not a whole, whole bunch, but I mean, you can still see it and hear it. There's stubble. That's the load. Like I said, first time using this, I don't know if I need to load heavier or not. We'll see though. Let's read off the ingredients. I don't have my typical list in front of me. Let's see. Oh, by the way, while we're lathering up, if you don't mind, if you already haven't, Please hit that subscribe button, hit the uh, like button as well. Helps the YouTube algorithm kind of push my videos out. I think it's actually been working a bit. Um, so I appreciate you guys doing that for me. My, uh, my viewer count and subscribers and actually um, my likes have gone up significantly. So, all right, we're just gonna keep adding water here. It's a very nice, dense, creamy lather, so. Pretty impressed. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh, stearic acid, water, cocoa, nesifera, potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, parfum, and potassium carbonate. So, not a whole lot of ingredients, if we're being honest, but uh, not tallow. Um, there's no, oh, there's no lanolin, lanolul in this. So I'm, I'm wondering how it's going to be as far as the post now. Looking at the ingredients, it's still a bit, it's still a bit too thick for me, you know. So we're gonna we're gonna continue to paint in some water. Like I said, I kind of want to push it to its limits, but um, I also don't want to waste too much of your time. So we're just gonna paint in some water really quick get on with it so far it really does look like a great lather but we'll know more here shortly just painting in the water I 
Oh yeah, I mean it's getting very shiny. There's the sheen. It's not killing the lather, so that's good. It's a good very, it's a very good sign. I'm happy with that. That's nice, thick, and dense. We have the uh, suds there. <clears throat> All right. Oops, dropped the lid. Put that up here. All right. Chung Fong Sing and um, Dorco with the, uh, this is the actual, oh, this is the actual pack itself. Very cool packaging from uh, PAA on most of their stuff. Cream or the lather is doing extremely well. Hmm. And uh, the razor and DE blade are also doing very well. So this might be a very good combo for the uh, for the, Dor uh, the Dorco. I think it's Dorco. I don't know if I said Dovo or Dorco earlier. As far as the uh, I'll have it in the title. I'll look it up and make sure it's right for the title. All right, second lathering. Let's see what we can do here. Oh yeah. The scent on this is uh, is on point. You know, I really do enjoy this scent. Cherry forward, maybe slight vanilla, maybe a little less vanilla than Cella, but the overall scent strength. If Cella is a five, uh, this is like a six and a half to seven. Like it's it's a significant amount uh, difference between the two as far as the strength. We'll talk about performance differences and stuff in a bit. Like I said, this is my very first time using it, so it's possible that I make wrong assumptions this time. What I think I'm going to start doing for the next shave is on my Instagram channel or on my Instagram page, whatever, which the, link, the link's down below if uh, you're not following me already. Um, I'm going to start, oh, weeper.
I'm gonna start having you guys vote on the soaps for the following shaves. I'll probably list three. We used to do this on my channel anyway a while back. Give me one second, I'm gonna rinse out the sink here or let the sink drain. Yeah, we used to uh, used to do that anyway on this channel, but I kind of got away from it. Um, not for any specific reason, but I'll probably bring it back. But the voting will have to be on um, on Instagram. I don't know. I might do YouTube as well. I might do like a quick video on YouTube for the voting, and you can vote on Instagram as well. I'll have to figure it out. But definitely on Instagram, what I'll do is um, I'll take a picture of the three soaps and then you'll comment which one you want to see. And that's what we'll do. We'll went, we went ahead and pulled out the uh, excess lather on the brush or in the brush, put it on the brush and now we're going to put it on the face. So I think I loaded just enough. I think we'll have a little bit left in the brush for touch-ups, although I don't really do touch-ups on a three, three pass shave, but maybe on a two pass shave. But look, that's, I think I loaded for maybe 15, 20 seconds. And I've had a full three pass shave with a little excess on the brush, so I'm happy. I'm happy with that. So yeah, <clears throat> be on the lookout for after this shave is uploaded, which will probably be mid-week. Um, um, uh, a couple days after the shave uploads, I'll upload the, or maybe the day after, I'll upload a post with three other soaps that I'm going to have you guys vote on for the next shave. I really am enjoying the shave. I know I'm not talking a whole lot, but, um, or as much as I typically do. But I think the reason is honestly, cause I'm, I wouldn't say I'm blown away by this cream or shaving soap, but it's extremely good for the price. I just cut myself. I think, I, I think when I was going up, I kind of went sideways or something. Anyway. Yeah, for the price, the $5.99 price, you, I was going to say you can't beat it. It's possible you can, but the value is definitely high here. If you haven't tried TFS, you know, check it out because, like I said, it's not a very expensive soap now. If you're like me and you have a million other soaps, you might want to hold off. <laughs> Alright, let's do a quick little rinse. Wow, apparently I got myself very good on my, uh, my mustache area. Hmm. Feels good though to get that stubble off. Very nice. All right, let's go with the Allen block. Gentleman John's Allen block or whatever's left of it. I've had this for two, three years. Although I haven't used it every single shave. Can't lie on that. Um, actually, I've just recently started using this probably Six shaves ago, seven shaves ago, something like that. Hmm. 
<laughs> Still don't know how to use it. I just kind of do what I'm doing here. I wet it, kind of put it on the skin. Uh, this shave, not very much irritation or stinging at all. Not even really here where the cut is. No, not really any burning. So, yeah, I think that was a very good shave. Again, I was using a mild razor and a mild blade, but still, all in all, still a very good shave. Alright, I'm rinsing off the Allen block. pulled out a uh, splash. Let me go ahead and do that. Uh, see what we have here. Since this is kind of a, I don't know, I wouldn't say a rip off, although, you know, the scent. Um, let's go with the, you know what, I haven't used this, I don't think, in a little while. Let's do Triple X from Razor Rock. Oh, very, very nice scent. Mm -hmm. Nice scent. Alright guys. Hope you enjoyed the shave. That's strong. The scent on this. It's good. It's very good. It's teetering on great. But. Oh, the scent. Strength is killer. Which I enjoy. But uh, yeah, just to reiterate, <clears throat> went with uh, the Tiki brush, 3D printed handle, and synthetic knot. We went with the, I think it's a Dor Dorco, I think it's a Dorco. Uh, Dorco all plastic razor with the PAA Platinum Strange Lit blades. And with TFS, Chun Fung Sing. And they're very, very close although not identical, um, soap to cello, in my opinion. So, and finish it off, obviously, with Triple X from Razor Rock. So, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, for the next shave, you'll have to vote um, on Instagram. Maybe I'll do YouTube, probably just Instagram, though. Uh, yeah, so see you guys next shave. Hope you enjoyed.